All right, everyone, welcome back to another Cooking from a Can. If you are new to this series, the reason we call it Cooking from a Can is because our home that we built is made out of shipping containers, aka a sea can, so Cooking from a Can, that's where the name comes from. Shannon came up with it. Um, yeah, we haven't really disclosed that in the last few episodes of this, uh, just in the first one. So yeah, if you're new to this, that's why we call it that. And um, yeah, if you want to stay in a shipping container, we have our rentals here in Samara. Just go to seacastasamara.com and then it has all the information there so you can book. Come stay with us here in Samara and enjoy the best beach in Costa Rica. So today we are making chicken biryani, which is a popular dish in Pakistan. We were watching some travel vloggers, food vloggers, I think it was Mark Means and David's been here and they were both in Pakistan and they're having the biryani. So we're like, oh, well, that looks really good actually. So we decided to make it one time and I found a couple recipes that merged those recipes and this is my version of it. And yeah, we're gonna teach you how to make it it's super simple and really delicious. So first we're gonna start with about three pounds of chicken breast. You can use any sort of chicken. Um, if you wanna use like a chicken thigh or something like that with the bone in, you can do that. It's just a lot easier to eat chicken breast because then you can just shovel it in your mouth right <laughs> so we're just gonna cut it into small chunks well not too small like kind of cubes this is for the marinade part and the marinade you can make the day before or up to an hour before if you decide last month you want to make this yeah an hour to let it marinate so that would be fine so yeah we'll just cut it into strips and then into cubes All right, so that's it for the chicken. Takes a little bit of time, but in uh, a fast time lapse like that, it's really quick. <laughs> so uh, now we're gonna get on to making the actual marinade part. All right, so first thing for the marinade is about a two inch piece of ginger. Just, just chop it slightly. We're gonna put it in the electric slap chop. And then eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, whatever you want cloves of garlic. So we're just gonna put those in a slap chop now. And... Okay, so you're gonna put that into a bowl. Next is six tablespoons of yogurt. One teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of turmeric. One teaspoon of paprika. One teaspoon of chili powder two tablespoons of garam masala. So this is hard to find in Costa Rica. I actually had to make this uh, a couple weeks ago uh, with a bunch of the seasonings that I had here. So it's just a spice blend. You can find this at like Asian markets or other markets in North America or Europe or wherever else, or you can order it on Amazon as well. So two tablespoons of garam masala and two tablespoons of lemon juice. We're just gonna blend that together and then pour that over the chicken and then Mix it all up and let it marinate. It smells really good with that garam masala. All right, so yeah, just pour it over the chicken. And then just massage it in with your fingers. Chicken massage. And it looks like that. So we're gonna let this marinate for a couple hours. What time is it? You know? So probably, yeah, probably about two, two and a half hours and we're going to make the rest. So I'm going to put this in the fridge, let it do that. And we'll see you guys in a few hours. All right. Welcome back. It's been a couple hours, two and a half hours now. So the chicken's been marinating that length of time. So first thing you want to do is get your rice rinsed. We're going to rinse it three times and then we're going to let it soak for 30 minutes and then drain it. So we're going to get going on that. It's super easy to do. Just throw it in some water, just, just cover the rice. Move it around with your hand, drain it, just repeat that three times. And then uh, the last time, fill it with water and let it soak. All right, so now that your rice is soaking for the next half an hour, we're gonna get the rest of the stuff prepped, which is a couple onions, so a couple medium large onions, and then a couple chilies and some mint and stuff. So we're gonna chop the onion, just kind of finely diced it. Diced up, just set those aside. Get a couple, couple green chilies, like Thai chilies. We grow these in our yard, like the bird's eye chilies. Just gonna just 
roughly chop those as well. If you don't want it as spicy, don't put these in or de-seed them. Okay, and now lastly, we're just gonna chop up. It's like about a cup of fresh mint. I'm just gonna finely chop that. All right, so that's it for the prep for now. We're just gonna let that rice soak for a few more minutes and then we'll get going on frying the onion and the chicken and all that stuff. Okay, so now that your rice is soaked for half an hour, you're gonna strain it in a, one of these things, a strainer hat. And then you're gonna start with frying the onion and then the chicken. So first, you're gonna use about four tablespoons of butter or a ghee if you have it. You put that on high and let that butter melt. So once your butter is melted and nice and hot, you're gonna add your onion and your chilies. And just saute those until the onions become transparent. Okay, so now that your onions and peppers have cooked down a bit, you're gonna add your marinated chicken now with all the marinade as well. And then just mix it all in and we're gonna let it cook down on medium high for about five minutes. And then we're gonna cover and let it simmer on low for probably about another five minutes. Okay, so now that your chicken has cooked down a bit in these last five minutes on the medium high, just give it a stir. Turn your temperature down to low. And then we're gonna cover it and let it simmer for about five to seven minutes. Okay, so now that your chicken has simmered on low for about seven minutes, you'll see it's a lot of liquid now, so you're gonna wanna let that evaporate. Three more minutes, five more minutes, something like that. And then uh, we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so now that your chicken has simmered a bit more, just to get rid of some of that extra moisture, you're gonna add in your mint, which is a cup of mint, half a cup of yogurt, one teaspoon of chili powder, and two teaspoons of garam masala. Mix that together, almost looks like a bit of a stew. And now you're gonna add your four cups of basmati rice, and then just level it out so it's a flat area on top. And now you're gonna pour in six cups of water. Just slowly pour it in, go around the rice. You don't want it to get too mixed in. And now you're just gonna cook your rice to the desired uh, texture that you want. So you just kind of keep an eye on it, uh, probably 10 or 15 minutes, something like that. Okay, so it's been about 12 minutes now. We're gonna look at the rice and see how it's Done with the cooking. As you can see, all the moisture is gone now. It's typically, that's how you cook rice. You want to make sure all of the uh, water is gone. Just kind of mix this up now. Put that chicken and everything up at the top. Just make a nice blend of everything. As you can see, the chicken's, chicken's on the top now. So I doubled this recipe because we like to have leftovers. I'm gonna, in this description below is gonna be the single version of this. So if it's just a family of four, then you can just make the version that's below and it'll be perfect amount. But if you're having friends over or you wanna have leftovers, do just double that version, which I've done now, and which I spoke about in the video as well. Um, so yeah, that's it. It's ready now. We're just gonna plate it up and I'm gonna show you the final product. So there you have it, a Pakistani chicken biryani. And uh, you see we got some naan bread here. Uh, the link here is will show up above for you to go and make the naan bread that we make. 
We make a lot extra when we do make the naan and we just freeze it. So I just pull it out of the freezer and we're gonna use it for this. So it isn't a saucy dish. It is more dry, but it's still nice to eat with naan. You can pick it up. But yeah, that's the uh, chicken biryani. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, it is a very delicious and very uh, flavorful dish, especially with that fresh mint in there and uh, the garam masala. So yeah, if you guys like the video, please leave a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell icon to get notified when we come up with new videos. And we'll see you in the next Cooking from a Can. Buen provecho. As always, right? Mm -hmm. So now I gotta get into it. Of course, we have the usual Caesar. Thanks to your lovely wife. Mm -hmm. I was waiting for that. I was taking a sip. I can't say thanks to my beautiful, lovely wife mm -hmm. as I'm taking a sip because then it'd be everywhere. That's what you said before. <clears throat> No, but it's taking a sip to let them know how good it is. Also, got my apron on. It's a little dirty. My production team didn't clean my apron, aka Shayna. You should have hired a cleaning lady. <laughs> Hire a cleaner? Cleaning lady's on strike. It's all right. It's, it's curry, so if I... Actually, what is it? It was, uh, what did we make? Mutton paneer. Mu mu not mutton. Mutter mutton. <laughs> mutton. <laughs> mutter. Mut mutter paneer on here, so if I get hungry, I can just take some off here and chew on it. We have an automatic slap chop, electric slap chop, because the button got stuck down. What do you think, Ollie? Does it smell good? <laughs> so yeah, while it's marinating, we might take the, the mini donkeys for a walk on the beach. What do you think, Meeks? You wanna come see? Come say hi. A couple of mini donkeys. I guess, should we do a cooking from a can how to make Mexican street tacos? <laughs> dog treats. They're dog treats, yeah. Make homemade dog treats. Oh, that's nice, thanks. As it's melting, you have a sip of wine. 